So there's something going on at Zaum, which, for those who don't know, is the development studio behind the critically acclaimed Disco Elysium, one of the most fascinating, compelling, and artistically just incredible, narratively driven games in the last generation, honestly. Uh, plenty of people will tell you it's one of the best games that's released in the last couple of years, and that... Uh, it is written incredibly well. The writing in this game is just uh, next level. And uh, unfortunately, while many people are looking forward to the sequel, there are some bad news surrounding the current state of the studio and key developers who were once with the studio before they were forced out. So let's dive right in. This was all information that was initially conveyed by Martin Luiga, one of the founding members of Zaum and someone who worked on Disco Elysium as an editor, he sort of ominously posted some news with this link to a Medium post. Going to that post, you'll find an article or a blog post whose headline reads, The Dissolution of the Zaum Cultural Association, published on October 1st. And right here, we get some vague details that, while doesn't give us the full picture gives us enough to kind of allow us to gauge that there is something not right at Zaum currently. I, Martin Liga, founding member and secretary of the Zaum Cultural Association, as well as the assembler of most of the core team, am hereby dissolving the Zaum Cultural Association, not to be confused with the Zaum company on which subject I would note that neither Kurvitz, Heinpier, nor Rostov are working there since the end of last year and they're leaving the company was involuntary, which means they were forced out. It was not their decision, which would seem like bad news for the loving fans that are waiting for the Disco Elysium sequel. The reason for dissolving the cultural organization is that it no longer represents the ethos it was founded on. People and ideas are meant to be eternal. Organizations may well be temporary. I find that the organization was successful overall, and most of the mistakes that were made were contingent, determined by the socio-cultural conditions we were thrown into. I still encourage people to organize, and I would say that one of the qualities that the Zaum cultural organization sorely lacked was pretty much any formal structure. For a while, it was beautiful. My sincerest thanks to all that have rooted for us. Martin Luiga. Not only have key developers been kicked out of their own studio, but from what Martin seems to be insinuating, there's been a paradigm shift within Zaum itself that uh, makes it no longer what it once used to be, just not the same studio as it was before whatever this hostile takeover is. And he further suggests that it might have to do with investors and capitalists via this other sort of somewhat vague post that reads, imagine a kleptomaniac, if you will, only that instead of stealing, say, a lollipop, they take pains to manipulate dozens of people to steal in the end from themselves just because they happen to be very proficient in that kind of an operation. It's what they always do, really. One of them was the first guy to be convicted for investment fraud in Estonia. All the same, I don't know if we would have managed to get the initial investment without these people. So it's something to do with initial investors and capitalists who have kind of muddied the waters and uh, essentially uh, kind of ripped out the soul of Zaum by kicking out these developers. Among them is Alexander Rostov, who confirmed via the following tweet published on October 2nd, 2022, that we confirmed that we're no longer at the studio. Alexander Rostov, Robert Kurvitz, and Helen Heinpier. Helen Heinpier herself took to Instagram to essentially repost what Alexander Rostov posted on Twitter, confirming that this is indeed true. And already we're seeing plenty of social media users and news outlets covering this. Nibel here tweeted about this and already it's garnered over 15,000 likes. PC Gamer published an article about how the founding member of Disco Elysium Studio claims core devs involuntarily left the company detailing how Martin Liga is a founding member of Studio Zaum and an editor on Disco Elysium. And beyond that, we get details as to exactly what the roles of the key developers who left involuntarily were. Robert Kurvitz was lead designer, Helen Heimpier was a writer, and Alexander Rostov was the art director. And these four really were the beating heart of Zaum, as PC Gamer points out here. Luiga, Kurvitz, Heimpier, and Rostov were all members of the punk collective that eventually became Studio Zaum. The latter three in particular were 
instrumental to the development and critical acclaim of Disco Elysium. Kurvitz and Heinpier in particular were driving forces on the game's lauded script, and Rostov's impressionistic art style remains one of the game's defining features. Now, throughout all of this, Liga has been responding to folks via social media because plenty of people are sort of mourning this incident given how special Disco Elysium was, given how special Zaum felt as a game development studio, only for all of that to kind of come crashing and burning. But Luiga offered words of comfort like, don't worry, it's just an organization. It will always live on in our loving memory and we can build stuff on its ruins, suggesting that key members from Zaum who were kicked out may potentially be already planning their next venture. He seems to be suggesting this is not the last you'll hear from us, so I'll look forward to whatever they might be cooking up next. Hopefully, they'll all land on their feet and continue to make incredible interactive experiences. And then responding to worries that all of this will negatively impact the highly anticipated sequel, Luiga responded with the following tweet, Now nah, I think that things with a sequel are actually sweet enough. You might even get it the way it was meant. It might take a shit ton of time, but RPG fans are sort of accustomed to waiting, ain't they? Perhaps this could be interpreted as development for the sequel was far long enough before the key members from Zaum were kicked out, that enough of the foundation was set, that even if the development team carries on with making the sequel without these key developers, it'll still relatively be in line with the vision that the creators and the creative heads of this project had. Liga doesn't seem 100% certain here, but the way he's worded this seems to suggest that the creative vision of the sequel hasn't been completely tainted by this situation, that there may be enough of sort of the soul of the original team in the current state of the sequel that maybe it's worth looking forward to. I'm not entirely sure. And then from there, Luiga responded to somebody pointing out rumors from the fan community that the money people are messing stuff up. Luiga's response doesn't necessarily confirm that this is the case, but the post does vaguely seem to be castigating the money people. The money people come from a background which says you gotta grab when you can, even when it, in fact, does not make much economic sense. Finally, the same Twitter user asked whether the developer Developers who left involuntarily will address what happened there, what exactly is meant by left involuntary, so on and so forth. We got response by essentially saying that this is outside my purview. I do not know. It is their story to tell. I believe Helen has addressed the issue on Instagram, and I also think that gaming journalists should take the issue up. It is not known to me whether the developers who left involuntarily would be willing to speak. Any info coming from me would be secondhand. So Luiga is being very communicative, but he's also keeping details vague. He doesn't seem to be able to say all that much. That's kind of all we know about the situation. I'm sure we'll find out more over the coming days and weeks, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. But another question that I have is what's going to happen to the Disco Elysium TV series? that was announced back in June of 2020. Especially given the fact that when it was first announced, the show was set to be made by the same people who made the Disco Elysium game, with Helen Heinpier herself providing the following quote, we're so gratified at the response Disco Elysium has received and very happy to be teaming with DJ2 to expand the franchise for other media and new audiences. But now with Helen and other key members of Zaum having departed the studio and the company, uh, is this TV show going to move forward? And if so, I can only assume that the original creators would no longer be involved with this project, which would, you know, if you ask me, taint this uh, project quite a bit. Is the show going to continue without the original creators or will it get cancelled because of this whole situation? As for what the internet's reaction has been to all of this, obviously plenty of people are mourning the situation and are upset that this happened so shortly after the founding of Zaum, which feels like a very special indie studio, and the release of Disco Elysium, which for many is such a special indie game, and uh, many would have loved to see the tenure of Zaum and its key developers last much longer. And beyond that, with the current speculation being that the involuntary leaving on the part of the key members of Zaum had to do with early investors and capitalists kind of mucking everything up, people are pointing out the irony given that Disco Elysium, 
tackle such topics. Twitter user Willow here, who has already garnered almost 20,000 likes with this post, tweeted, Disco Elysium being created and released as an unadulterated, beautiful explosion of artistic, social, and political expression, only to immediately be subsumed by the throes of capitalism is both ironic and poetic on so many levels. Here's one more highlighting the same irony. Disco Elysium shows the effect of greed for money and power through its gameplay and story. Disco Elysium 2 makes a bold move and will show it through its development cycle. Very meta indeed. Here's another similar viral tweet in a weird fucked up way. The company that made Disco Elysium is destroyed by the creative team being muscled out by growing corporatization of the company is the only way that the game's story could have ended. You got major content creators like Iron Pineapple chiming in. This is so heartbreaking. Disco Elysium developers were pushed out of the company likely due to investor greed. It's painfully ironic given the content of the game. But fuck, wild that this is the reward for the devs who created one of the best pieces of art in gaming. You can really tell from how much traction the story has gained and how people are so endearingly speaking about Disco Elysium that this was quite the beloved game, which makes this unfortunate, abrupt, and sudden occurrence just that much more tragic. Here's one last tweet cursing the situation and highlighting the irony behind all of this. The creative powerhouse staff behind Disco Elysium getting forced out so the investors can reap quicker gains is tragic and makes my heart hurt and is also kind of the perfect sequel to the game. A whole boardroom of messiers killing the golden goose together. And right here you can see the quote, Capital has the ability to subsume all critiques into itself. Even those who would critique Capital end up reinforcing it instead. I wish I had more for you guys, but this story is continuing to develop. So far, there's just a lot of insinuations and speculations out there. The key developers who were seemingly forced out of their own company have not really spoken out or gone into detail. But no doubt that we're going to see plenty of investigative journalists trying to reach out and trying to get details in the hopes that we can get a complete story for what happened. And hopefully the soul of Zaum that left behind the corporate shell will land on its feet, find a new home, a new sort of organization, a new shell to inhabit. And um, hopefully uh, they will announce it to the world so that we can all gather together and... Uh, communally support whatever their next endeavor might be because the gaming industry needs more developers like the key developers of Zaum, the key developers of Disco Elysium, and um, hopefully none of this will stop them from continuing to output incredible creative expression to the world through the uh, incredible medium that is video games and the wonderful interactive experiences that can come from it. I wish them all the best, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated as the story continues to unfold. But for now, yeah, this is kind of the tragic situation. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on what might have happened behind the scenes that led to the involuntary departure of the key Disco Elysium developers. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.